वेलकम टू एक्सचेंज सर्वर एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन मैनेजिंग एक्सचेंज ऑनलाइन वंस योर कंपनी डिसाइड्स टू यूज़ द एक्सचेंज ऑनलाइन यू नीड टू नो हाउ टू मैनेज द सर्विसेज बिफोर मैनेजिंग द यूजर्स यू हैव टू क्रिएट ए टेनेंट फॉर ऑफिस थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव विच इज़ नाउ रीनेम्ड एज ए माइक्रोसॉफ्ट थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव लेट मी शो यू यू कैन सी द माइक्रोसॉफ्ट थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव प्लान फॉर्मली इट वॉज ऑफिस थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव इफ यू क्लिक ऑन दिस यू विल गेट द रिजल्ट यू हैव ए माइक्रोसॉफ्ट बिजनेस बेसिक बिजनेस स्टैंडर्ड एंड बिजनेस प्रीमियम यू कैन सेलेक्ट इट अकॉर्डिंग टू योर चॉइस एंड यू कैन सी यू हैव ऑप्शन ऑफ ट्राई फ्री फॉर वन मंथ सो इफ यू क्लिक ऑन दिस वन इट विल आस्क यू द डिटेल्स एंटर योर वर्क और स्कूल ई मेल एड्रेस वंस यू फिल ऑल द करेक्ट डिटेल्स इट विल क्रिएट ए बिजनेस बेसिक ट्रायल प्लान फॉर यू एंड यू कैन एड अप टू ट्वेंटी फाइव यूजर ड्यूरिंग द ट्रायल आफ्टर थर्टी डेज योर ट्रायल सब्सक्रिप्शन विल बी कन्वर्टेड टू द पेड सब्सक्रिप्शन and here at the right side you can see what you will get you will get all these services once you have created this account you can sign in to the login.microsoftonline.com you can put your email address here through which you have signed in and you can click next to login it so i have created one for myself let me open that so once you will log in to your microsoft admin center you will see this page i have signed up for microsoft 365 e5 developer plan you can use the e3 plan e5 plan or any of the plan according to your choice and microsoft 365 admin center is a web based console that you can use to deploy office 365 in the cloud for your organization you can also create users and manage domains licenses and administer all aspects of office 365 if i go and scroll down you can see the admin center this is a security compliance endpoint manager you will see endpoint manager in e5 not inside the e3 you see the azure active directory exchange admin sharepoint and team admin and if i go to the users here you can see the active users right now there is only a one active user this is my username and email for the microsoft 365 admin center and it has a permission of global administrator so this account is a global admin account Let's try to see the Exchange Admin Center. You can see the Exchange. If I click on Exchange, here we have a Exchange Admin Center. So don't get confused. Like this is a Microsoft 365 Admin Center, which has all the Admin Center inside here. You can see the SharePoint Admin Center. It's a Team Admin Center. So this is a Admin Center for SharePoint. This is a Admin Center for Exchange. And if I click on this classic Exchange Admin Center, this is the old version of Office 365 Exchange Online Admin Center. You can see the recipients. And if I click on this Edit sign, we have a same feeling like on-premises Exchange. We have a email address format, mailbox, mailbox delegation, mailbox usage. Now this has been changed to a new console. And here you can see the mailboxes. Here you can see the group. resource mailboxes contacts mail flow rules remote domain accepted domain connector we can discuss them later on this is just to show you how it look like if you want to create a user in microsoft 365 let's go back to the active users here you can see the active users and if i want to create a new user i can click on add a user let's name it as a mark laster automatically create a password require this I don't want the user to reset the password and let me click on next location you want to set the location or I will keep it as a default and here you can see the licenses assign user a product license if I click on this I have a 25 license one is this so if I assign a license to this one only the 23 will be remaining and the app will be included these are the app which will be included in this license If you want to select or deselect any app you can do that for example i want to deselect all the apps and i want to give only a exchange plan to my user i can just click on exchange or i want to give him microsoft teams i can just select these two and just click on next role user no administration access i don't want to give this user any admin access configure the profile info right now i am not doing that to save the time but you can do that so let's finish adding so now the user has been added to this let me close this now you can see the user is created now in the exchange admin center if i go to the recipients and mailboxes you can see there is a no mailbox so after a refresh the mailbox appeared by the name of mark loster 
this is how you can create a user and assign a license to a user and if you want to create a group you can create a group from exchange admin center itself you can say add a group you want to create a mail enable security group dynamic distribution distribution or microsoft 365 recommended so i will say i want a mail enable security group and i will click on next i say it admin and we'll click on next group email will be it admin so i'm not checking any of the boxes there just click on next and create a group now the group has been created and you can define like this is the distribution list group this is a mail enable security and this is dynamic distribution list we have created inside the mail enable security and you can see we have a it admin group here if i click on this you can see the members there is no members right now view all and manage owners you can add the owner if i want to add a mark loster as a owner of this group you can add that user so now these are the two owner of that group see here from here you can add the owners view all and manage owners and from here you can add the members view all and manage members you can add the members you can click on add right now we only have this one so let me select the mark only and mark is now the member of that it admin group from here if you want to remove the owner mark loster we can just click on remove it will be removed now it's not a owner of this it admin group it's a just a member of this it admin group so we have created the user we have created the group we have seen how we can add a owner and a member to the group if we go back to the recipients mailboxes if i click on this mark loster from here you can manage email address types manage mail flow settings manage mailbox delegation manage mailbox policies automatic replies and more actions are there you can add email address type from here and same way if we go to the active user from here you want to reset the password you can reset the password for this user as well here you can see the key if you click on this key automatically create a password if i do this you can just set the password and reset the password from here you can manage the product license if you want to remove the license from this user you can remove that if you want to add license to a new user you can add a license from here if i will uncheck this you can see that 24 license will be available also you can see the on microsoft.com here if you want to create your own domain you can do that as well if you see here we can go to the settings you can see the domain if we click on the domain you can click the add domain here you can use your custom domain we will see that later it is just to show you that we can add our custom domain as well here if you want to connect the exchange online through the powershell you can open the powershell and run as an administrator you can put this command let connect exchange online user principal name this is a upn name for my exchange online and if i hit enter it will ask me the password let me enter the password it has a multi-factor authentication so i will put the code here and once it is verified it will be logged in and we can use the powershell to manage our exchange online the module allow access to all existing remote powershell commandlet in addition to the nine new faster and more reliable commandlet so these are the new commandlet so if i type the get mailbox you can see we have a two mailbox like for this user and one for the mark and this is a discovery search that is a system mailbox so this is how you can connect with the powershell to exchange online i hope the video was informative let's meet in a next video